Hello there, it's been uh, two weeks. I didn't know that last week was a special episode. Obviously you guys told me that after my reaction. Uh, but it's been too long waiting for this. I hope you also like my new logo. I got a new logo on the channel now. It's designed similarly to my main channel of productions uh, with like obviously a different word because my main channel is DP, this one's DF. And I made it yellow for Zeton. And I themed it after Zeton. I thought, hey, my main channel's red. Need a different color for this channel. Ultraman is generally red. So I thought, what's a good Ultraman villain? Ah, Zeton, my favorite. So <laughs> I made like a golden sort of logo, hope you like it. And uh, I'm making an intro as well with that logo at some point. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, I, I mean, I didn't make it. I paid someone to do it, but still, it's, uh, it's really cool. So I hope you like it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's do this reaction. Oh yeah, also actually, <laughs> I'm very excited when I saw the title. The title said The Four Moons Answer. And obviously I saw the thumbnail as well, so I'm just like, we saw those two forms that were teased at the start of the show, like episode two or something. We saw the sun, uh, the, the sun version and the moon version. We're seeing the second version now, which is cool because they teased this earlier. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing that armor. Anyway, let me press play, let's react. Who is this? Oh, it's him as a kid. Yeah, that makes sense. What if you're sad at daytime? Then what'd you look at? Okay, that's a good analogy. Still can't see it at daytime. And he does do that. Jump into the sky. I think it's the best opening in years. Like, I think it's been a few years since they made one this good. I thought that was an advert. <laughs> Let me guess, there's a kaiju causing this. How is he okay? How How is he just active when it's so hot? なんですかこの匂いは。喉が腐ったみたい。流化水素ですね。あ、まるで完結線だな。匂いが吹き出して。ここ最近夜は地震で眠れんな。怪獣でもいるんじゃないか。反応しません。火山。こんな住宅地で
Um, so, yeah. But leave it alone then. Try and get it into space. ああ、噴火を起こす伝説の怪獣だったな。はい。世の地域では火山地帯じゃないのに噴火が起きているんです。噴火に関係すると思われる過去の炭火層が起こったのは全部満月の頃だよ。いや、ちょうど満月。マジ
どうなんでしょう全てをアークに耐えるわけにはいかないでしょう我々でも調査を続けよう了解,了解とりあえず寝よう<笑>数十年後いや数百年後つかホムガーはまた次の世代へと生まれ変わる時のためにしっかりと記録を残すのがホムガーは精霊と共に現れる That was a good episode. Really good storytelling. It was very emotional. It was very emotional. I was ready. I was excited because we get to see this other moon form that we heard about episodes ago. And I was like, this is going to be really cool. And it was. It was cool. But the context of it and like the actual episode, it was just very emotional. It was a nice story. I also liked the kaiju design. I think the design was really cool.、Um, really nice colors and.、Uh, Yeah, you could really feel it.、Like, I was, was going to say it during the reaction, but I thought I'd say it after the episode instead. But、uh, you can really, like, I can sense the scale of it because in previous episodes, we saw Ultraman lying down in a fight. He was not knocked down. We saw, like, his head was, like, the size of the entire block, like, the entire road. So you know how big Ultraman is. <laughs> the Ultraman is huge. And that monster made him look so small. So <laughs> you just know how big that monster is. I feel like the buildings don't always do a good job of. Obviously, because of the, the budget, obviously, the budget will be low, lower than it probably would be. But I feel like the buildings don't really show you how big the kaiju actually is. But there's a reference point because the reference point is <laughs> a few episodes ago, I saw Ultraman knocked down on the floor and his head was so big, <laughs> it covered the entire road. I'm just like. Okay, Ultraman's huge. So, <laughs> just from looking from, from now on, I just remember that from, from that episode of Ark. So, I'm just like, okay, so that's how big Ark is. So, anytime a kaiju is much bigger than him, that's how you know the kaiju is ridiculously big. So, so I just thought I'd mention that. But yeah, really cool design.、Um, but I was most impressed by the storytelling. Storytelling was really good.、Um, I really liked their play of words and some of the things that were said. There was some really good dialogue in this with Yuma and his mother. Of course, with the flashbacks and、uh, the spirit, what she said as well.、Um, there were some really good words there. So, like, anyone involved with that, like the directors, the, the script writers, the producers, they did a great job putting this together. It was really、uh, emotionally compelling and、uh, it was a really good episode. So, I really liked that. That was definitely worth the wait of two weeks. I'll give them that. That was worth waiting two weeks for. That was a damn good episode. And I'm very excited. I think maybe that was the best one so far because I just like emotional stories and combine that in like a kaiju, kaiju action uh,、um, storyline. Combine that with emotional,、uh, emotional dialogue that you see in this. I feel like it was a really, really good combination.、Um, and the kaiju design is really cool as well. So for me, probably my favorite episode so far, probably. I think it is. But、uh, yeah, I'm very excited for next week, which I assume is next week, right? Not two weeks' time, I hope. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and goodbye. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go too. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever.